Welcome to DFMMC 2014. My work can also be found at dfmmc.com. All right, uh, welcome to the shop. It's nice, it's bright and early. Uh, actually, I got quite a bit of a late start. It's only seven in the morning. And uh, what we're gonna be doing this morning is trying to, I'm going to do some work on design edge software for the plasma table and cut out some, wouldn't really call them, it's kind of a bolting flange I suppose for the feet or the wheels that I'm going to put on my fabrication table and the whole purpose is that this is going to be another kind of a shop cleanup type thing and it's just uh, in cleaning it up is the idea that I can have the table mobile so that I can always move it out if I need to sweep under it and everything and it, and it works out well that way so let's just show you the subject matter here at the table that I have to work with alright so this table is uh, I did not build it but I got it at, uh, well, I picked it up before it went to auction, but it's serving its purpose rather well, I guess. Right now it is just a tool shelf, which I need lots of organization around here. But the idea here is I kind of like the working height. It's good for standing. Uh, I've got a chair that it's it works out for at sitting level as well but maybe I'm thinking of lowering it maybe just an inch just kind of find a little bit happier middle ground between the two and uh, to do that I'm going to be measuring from the top of the table down the leg and I'm basically just going to chop off the foot at the appropriate distance to allow for one of those. It's a, it's a cast, I think, four inch wheel, maybe three, I can't recall. Bolts on. And so this flange is what I'm going to measure to make some cutouts on the table. So let's just uh, go ahead and go in and fire up the computer and start designing. Alright, so these cast flanges are you know, made in China. It's uh, something I got out of Northern Tool. I believe each one is supposed to be... I can't really remember. Maybe 300 pounds. So the table is at 1,200 pounds once... Well, I guess dead weight, you know, it was probably more like a hundred or a thousand pounds, so I don't really anticipate ever overloading that table, but this will give me the movability that I am looking for around the shop. So, time to design and measure out this uh, flange. So, let's just open up the uh, Design Edge software. I'm also going to be using this uh, dial caliber out of Harbor Freight and the part number is 92437 All right, so new drawing First things first, just pretty simple to get my square. Oops, sorry about that. So I'm at two, and I mean, if I go five eighths, that'll be a little big, but. So I'm going to go 2 and 5 eighths. Is 
than three and three quarters. So starting off with a box, I don't necessarily like to make everything at my zero to zero point as I've stated out before. So I'm going to start my box at 0.25 and 0.25 and I'm going to do the whole shift at which puts it into an absolute coordinate and then Two and five eighths, so two point six two five and three point seven five. Just gonna take a stab at the radius and say we're gonna put a fillet of a quarter inch Gonna go ahead and measure the hole. And it looks like it is just above three eighths. So in order to accept a three eighths bolt probably. Yeah, they're about pretty much on par with 40,000, so good clearance for a 3 8 bolt. Making new lines, 1.44. And then from, I should go ahead and redo this one line midpoint to midpoint. Offset point eight nine. So this should be my final spots. Seven eight and two point eighty eight. Let's see if that one was correct. Can't remember, didn't write it down. Yes, that's correct. Okay, so then I measured my holes were. 400 so circles 0.4 intersection copy from intersection put the O snap on intersection I'm sorry yeah intersection intersection and intersection all right then we'll just uh, get rid of some things here
And that is the first flange that I'm going to need. And I'm going to right off the bat want four clearly, but I'm going to make five, and you'll see later in a different video. So go ahead and copy it from let's say 0.25. Come 0.25, and then give me the O snap. And since I made it five eighths, I'm going to want to add a quarter to five eighths, so that's uh. I'm sorry. <laughs> I made it two and five eighths, so I'm going to add a quarter. So two and seven eighths. So my copy point is going to be absolute two point eight seven five. Comma zero. O shift at two point eight seven five comma zero. Eyeball these ones. So there's the uh, the part. We're gonna hit N, which is a shortcut for do you want to cut stuff or put cut paths? And I'm just gonna say yes. I want to do the holes in the middle. So now I've got all the cut paths marked out. A little more visual for you. Alright, from here I just got to fire up the table, get the uh, air compressor running and all that fun stuff. So we will see you in the portion of the next video it will be about uh, the cutting and probably, I don't know if it will be one or two videos for fabricating it. But thank you. Hope this not quite a tutorial was beneficial for you in using Design Edge, I'm hoping, but if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments, and I will try and answer them for you. Then, uh, if you like stuff like this, uh, subscribe. There will be other videos. There's uh, some other videos much like this for Design Edge, so thank you again.